Hello class and welcome to week six of Cognitive Psychology. I hope you guys are all doing well. This lecture video will serve the purpose as to reviewing your week six module activities. Um, I will let you know ahead of time. This will be a very brief um, overview. I, won't, I don't have much to say considering you guys only have one chapter to read. Um, but uh, let's jump right in to see what we have for this week. So for this week you will have um, to read chapters 10 um, for this week. Um, you also have a couple of articles that are attached here, and I'll go ahead and open those up. The first one is uh, Testing Prepares Students to Learn Better, uh, The Forward Effect of Testing and Learning, in Category Learning. Um, and the next article is on the, the forward testing effect, so interim testing enhances inductive learning. So they're similar articles, but they're both interesting reads in how um, it talks about how testing and exams and things like that prepare students to learn and be more effective when developing uh, knowledge specifically. So you'll have those articles, you'll have to read chapters 10. Um, you also have a few videos as usual. This first video um, is uh, about three and a half minutes long um, and it's on semantic networks and spreading activity. Um, and, and the next one is over uh, it's a lecture over brain modality um, and specific systems in terms of uh, concepts and learning. So those are two um, videos that we'll, you'll, you'll have uh, to review for this week. Um, of course, you'll have my lecture video that I'm recording this right now. However, it's like I mentioned before, it's not exactly a lecture video. Um, it's just an overview for this week. Uh, I definitely want to keep it and condense it um, into a short video because I know with everything that's going on. I know you guys are um, definitely uh, quite busy. Um, so you also have your discussion board post um, and that's the only assignment that you'll have due for this week. Um, so the discussion board post of course will discuss um, your thoughts and your anal analysis of you know concepts and knowledge and what we learned um, during the, the readings. And also you'll show, you share your you know personal beliefs and values over um, how you know concepts and knowledge are learned and I know previous weeks we talked about how we process information how it's stored and things like that so it definitely plays a hand in um, concepts and knowledge um, so I'm definitely interested in hearing your perspective and your thoughts on um, this uh, this component of concepts and knowledge so with that being said, that is pretty much it for in terms of your agenda. Um, please feel free to reach out to me um, if you are struggling um, so we can work out some type of agreement and arrangement. Um, I will have you guys' um, discussion boards and uh, presentations graded no later than Friday. I'm trying to shoot for Wednesday or Thursday, um, but I will let you guys know on that. Um, in terms of your week 10, there wasn't much that I wanted to talk to you about um, for in terms of um, the PowerPoint. Um, like I said, there's only one chapter, so it shouldn't be too much information. Um, but I do um, think that you know, if you are reading through the chapter, you should get through it really quickly. Um, it's some, definitely some interesting um, components. Let me look through this and see if there's anything that I want to talk to you guys about. Um, in terms of concepts and knowledge. I think I want to talk to you about um, goal-derived concepts. Let me see, hold on one second. So there's so many components when it comes to Let's talk about procedure in terms of concepts and knowledge. Um, there's so many levels of um, concept and knowledge. So this specifically, this lecture or this chapter talks about the classical approach. It talks about theoretical problems when it comes to uh, concepts and knowledge. It talks about empirical problems, um, and it talks about alternative approaches and exemplar approaches, um, of course, and world knowledge. Um, but when we think about concepts and knowledge, what do you, what are your thoughts beyond what is how we are in 
terms of, um, of uh, concepts and knowledge about learning? Do you think we, are, we have full knowledge of everything that um, or how our brains can fully obtain, store, and and retain uh, of knowledge? Do you think that there is so much more that we need to learn? I think that for specifically for um, your lecture, I mean, your discussion board, that's an important topic to discuss and to dive a little bit deeper into. And then also thinking in terms of like your future careers, how concepts and knowledge may play a role in, in, in part of that. So in terms of future concepts, what from the previous um, uh, top it, topics of uh, the classical approach, the exemplar approach, empirical pro uh, problems, things like that. When you you know read the chapter and you study and you learn and you um, gather what exactly they're talking about, what approach is correct to you? Um, what do you think best applies to you or what best applies to the world? Um, and you can absolutely be okay with thinking, okay, none of them can account for um, all of the findings in research or in the world. Um, but what do you think best applies to your idea and your thought process of concepts and knowledge? Um, and ultimately, like it says, the future can go in many different directions. Um, how how, ch how do children uh, acquire concepts? Um, are there natural versus artificial categories? Are there abstract versus ver verbal concepts? Um, and where and how are concepts represented in the brain? Um, these are all important questions that are, once you're done reading and reviewing the chapter, these are all important questions in terms of the future and where you see, you know, your future career and how concepts and knowledge can ultimately affect and impact um, you and your future. And I know this may sound um, like it doesn't make any sense now, but I, I promise you, once you read the chapter and review and dig a little bit deeper into the material, this will sound a lot more understandable um, and as I mentioned before I, I didn't want to spend too much time on um, this week as usual I don't like to spend 30 minutes um, lecturing over materials um, because like I said you will you guys will read the chapter and you'll have a little bit deeper dig a little bit deeper into the material um, and if you do have any additional questions about the material free, please feel free to reach out to me and I can answer those um, but I think that's pretty much all I want to talk to you guys about. I do want to pop in and see what activities I do for next week, just so you guys have a bit of um, preparation. Like I mentioned before, this week is rather short. You just have a discussion board post. You just finished your presentation. Um, so it's fair, fairly short. So the next week you'll have, uh, it'll be a short week as well. I'll probably spend a little bit more time on chapters 11 in terms of problem solving, um, but this this week and next week you won't have any major assignments but the next major assignment is your dis is your um, uh, capstone so just keep that in mind um, that for week eight your capstone is due on Friday I didn't make a uh, announcement uh, about that it'll be due on the Friday of the end of the course um, but just keep, keep that in mind we are only two weeks away from the end of the course I can't believe it um, but yeah, here as you see, we just have the special proposal and the critical assignment. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for you guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. And like I mentioned before, I should have your assignments due um, no later than Friday. But I'm shooting for Wednesday or Thursday, so be on the lookout for those. And I will talk to you soon. Hope everyone is well. Um, and I hope you guys have a great week.